Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. We are in this series called Walking in Victory. We are in the Easter season, the church tells us, because we're celebrating, we are reflecting upon the resurrection and the impact of Jesus in our lives. Well, I recently did a mission event, and a mission event is what we call events when we go somewhere for a period of days to share Christ and to encourage people who are very committed in their faith, but also to reach people who are either distant from their faith or who are unsure. Well, many people approach me and ask if I will pray for them. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to do so. And it's something that Lord really put on my heart some years ago is that when people approach me to pray for them. And what I try to do is pray more than what they specifically ask for. Well, I was recently standing around the hospitality area after I had spoken at an event and a young man waited until the area was almost completely empty. And he must have been, I would say, 17 or 18 years of age. And this young man, he approached me and he was very awkward. He didn't know what to say. And uh, there had been a lot of people at this event, both much older than him and, and uh, as well as young people. And he approached me and, and when I looked at him, I immediately knew what he wanted, but, but he didn't quite know how to put it into words. What he wanted to know is if I would pray with him. And eventually he said, uh, kind of haltingly, will you say a prayer for me? And when I looked at him, he was a couple of inches taller than me and hair that was almost covering his eyes. And he was just young and, and uh, awkward, but uh, just full of vitality. And I remember that age so well in my own life. And in many ways, I'd love to go back there. Um, and, and yet there was a real sincerity in him. There was a real sincerity in him. And I couldn't help but think, God says in the scriptures, we read in the scriptures, where when we approach God sincerely, with integrity, meaningfully, truthfully, honestly, that God comes to us. In the book of Proverbs, there's just one verse I want to look at it. It says, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently find me. And those who seek me diligently find me. Scott, just circle that word, highlight that word diligently. Here was this young man and he was awkward as all heck and he could have done what others had did and just taken off, but he hung around and he waited and waited until he could get a quiet moment just privately. And he just prayed and he said to me, would you pray for me? And, and, and then he said something about, would you pray the Holy Spirit comes? And, and I don't think he'd ever been prayed with in his life before. He, I don't know that that was something he would, he would have known. And I remember putting my hand on his shoulder and I closed my eyes and, and, and I just prayed the best prayer I could pray for this young 17-year-old young man. And, and, and I just prayed as diligently as I could that God would bless, would God would touch, and that God would come into the heart of this young man. So much of life still to live, so many highs that, are, and that will come to him, and so many moments of struggle, difficulty, mistake, uh, that will come to him as well, uh, called life, isn't it? I wanna just spend a moment today, and will you join me? And let's pray for our grandchildren, and let's pray for our children, Let's pray for young people who have no one to pray for them. Uh, let's pray for young people right now that they would encounter Jesus and would know what it is to live in victory. This mission event, I pray, changes his life. He's taken the time to listen and come and do what many young people don't do. I pray that it really affects this young man's life. Loving Father, we come before you right now and there are many of us, we know young people in our lives. Lord, some of us are parents, some are grandparents. Some, Lord God, are the managers of businesses or owners of businesses and we have young people that work for us. And Lord, what the older you get, it seems the higher you uh, describe a young person. But Lord, 
the people that are in our hearts right now. Scriptures tell us, Lord God, that, that we need to seek after you with all our heart. And yet, Lord, there are people that don't know you, don't know how to seek after you at all. Lord, I pray for those we love, that you would put within them the urge to seek. Lord, you would grace them with the urge to seek, to seek you, to know you. Lord, as a parent and a grandparent, my first prayer in some ways is, is to pray that they're safe. But Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm not praying that prayer today. I'm praying the prayer of, Lord, that they would find you, maybe in a deeper way that any of us have ever found you, but that a really deep way that would touch them and change their life. Lord God, I thank you for this young man who approached me. He had a chance to, was brave enough to do so. Lord, I pray for all of us, Lord God, that, that we that we maybe who were maybe more nervous or not sure or maybe not quite as brave and I think that would have been me. Lord God, I pray that, that you would bless young people right now. For all those young people who have no one to pray for them. Father, in Jesus' name, we, the Christian community around the world, we hold them up to you right now. Draw them to you. Lord, for our children and our grandchildren, just bring their faces or their names to, your, to, to, your, to mind. In Jesus' name, draw them to you. Lord, for those who are grandparents and there are grandparents who listen, many of whom their grandchildren don't come around to visit all that often or much at all. Lord God, we know they're there. Draw them to you, Father, in Jesus' name. And reveal your plan and your will and reveal yourself most of all to them. Father, bless us and bless them today so that they would walk in victory. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, our mission events are moments where, where we give people an opportunity to encounter the Lord. We want to do that through our daily devotionals. We want to do that when we go places as well. As you would know, and many of you may have received an invitation to attend the event, the mission event in Chicago in June, uh, I would ask that you would prayerfully consider to come and to be part of that from wherever you are. For those of you who cannot, I would ask that you would hold it up in prayer, that, it would, that it's a moment and a time of grace in people's lives that are encountering the Lord. Hey, God bless you. I uh, look forward to seeing you. And uh, don't forget, wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, don't forget, God's never ever far from you.